Greetings, Earthlings, Wisdom Keepers, Wisdom Seekers. Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. My name is Tanya, and today we are talking about Venus's invisibility that is currently happening starting late May 2020. It just happened, like the 29th or so, and it's going to be continuing until mid-June 2020. So in this video, we're talking about the invisibility and the ensuing visibility of Venus as a planet. And what that actually means. In tomorrow's video, I'm going to be talking about the significance of the sign that this is happening in. So if you're not already, be sure to subscribe because I will be putting that out. And if you want to know, you want to know. You know what I'm saying? So no. Okay, moving along. So as I said, today Venus is currently invisible as I'm filming this, but what does that mean? Well, when in ancient astrology, and there's many different lineages, many different forms, but in a good chunk of those ancient lineages, when Venus was not visible. It meant that the yin of the feminine energy, if you will, like the feminine of the feminine energy, right? Because there's like a masculine and feminine energy to everything, even the energies of femininity and masculinity respectively. But with that said, it meant that the yin aspect of femininity was kind of like more what was in control or what was more in power at that time. And by that, I mean, it's more of a reflective femininity. And even if you're a man, don't think this doesn't apply to you because everybody has has their own feminine and masculine energies, regardless of gender. Even if you don't identify as a binary sexual, you know, identity, that's cool. This is really relevant to like what's going on right now, though, in the collective with everything related to finance and people standing up for social justice issues that have not been stood up for in this capacity in a while and clearly have been perpetuating for far too long as to why we're suddenly addressing it as a collective during eclipse season, mind you. But I digress. I digress. This video is about the visibility and invisibility y'all so let's get with it now the invisibility factor is going to be important because that's the feminine aspects of the feminine and it's more of like calling for us to be more in a period of introspection and inward reflection and also like the divine feminine energy could be taken advantage of low-key so please do be like aware if you are a woman or a femme identified being even just if you're a man, just be aware of like your own feminine energy during this time, regardless of your gender, because it could be taken advantage of. It's kind of like the Hades Persephone story, I hate to say, which you know, like Persephone was literally taken advantage of in a not groovy way. So anyway, just be aware of that, friends. Um, don't be taken advantage of the next two weeks in particular. Mid-June, this should be passing over and Venus will be rising as a morning star and visible, okay? Because she will just have gone through a conjunction aka Kazemi cycle with the sun, which is when it's conjunct. And as you may know as a student of astrology, and if you don't know, now you know, whenever a planet goes conjunct with the sun, it's like removing its negative karma and removing anything that's just extra that it doesn't need to function at its highest level. So anyway, Venus will be purifying and going through that cycle, okay, mid-June. So it's only like two weeks of invisibility, and then she's popping up as a morning star after just being an evening star, and she's visible. So she's strong. She's more in her zenith a warrior princess like ah, la, 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 vibe okay and that's just what it is so before you leave subscribe if you haven't already because there's more content like this on the daily daily drops of wisdom around here if you want a reading with me wisdom drops all z's at gmail.com the info for that is down below like subscribe share do all the things you know you should do and with that said my friends may the stars be with you peace